Hello, my name Hi. is Christine. I'm going to be your nurse practitioner today. Um, what's your name? Desmond. Desmond. All right, I'm going to be conducting a mini mental exam. Okay. So I'm going to be going through um, a couple different questions uh, just to see what your judgment skills are like, um, what your memory skills are. Um, so don't get frustrated if you don't know the answer to some of these questions. Um, it's just a pretty routine exam that we're going to be doing. Um, so how are you feeling today, Desmond? Feeling pretty good. All right. So first, I'd just like to point out you seem pretty well groomed. You seem like you're in pretty good spirits. Um, your posture looks good. Doesn't seem like you're super depressed or anything like that. Um, can you tell me what today is? March 29th, 2023. Okay, good. Can you tell me what season it is? Spring. Good job. Can you tell me where you're at today? I'm at the doctor's office. Okay, and what city are you in? Delaware. Okay, and which uh, state? Ohio. And what country are you in? The United States. Okay, good job. All right, so that tells me you're alert and oriented to person, place, time, and thing, since you're able to tell me all of the answers to those questions. Um, next, I'm going to be asking you the answers to a couple different analogies. Um, I just want you to answer these at the best that you can, okay? Okay. Um, so what is similar between an apple and a grape? They're both fruits. Okay, good job. And then an engine to a plane is the same as an oar to a what? A boat. A boat, yep, good job. All right, now I'm gonna list three objects um, and I'd like you to repeat them back to me. So we're gonna do paper, chair, glasses. Okay, paper, chair, glasses. Okay. So that shows me that you're able to um, immediately recall um, memories by repeating those back to me. Um, however, I do want you to remember those because I'm going to come back to them later um, to okay. test your recent memory, okay? okay. Um, my next question for you is where did you go to high school, Desmond? Mount Vernon High School. Okay, so that shows me that you are able to recall um, remote memories, things that happened longer ago than just in the moment. Um, I'm going to test your abstract reasoning skills. So I'm going to tell you a phrase and I'd like to see how you interpret this phrase. So he is an early bird. How would you interpret that? That they wake up early. They wake up early. All right. So that shows me you're able to be coherent in what I uh, said to you and you are able to um, use your critical thinking skills to work out what that means. Um, my next question for you is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you start at 100, and I want you to subtract 7 from 100 um, and keep going as long as you can go, okay? Okay. 93. Okay. 86. Mm -hmm. 79. 72. 65. All right, good job. Seems like you could go all day, but we'll stop you there. All right, um, so that shows me you're able to do uh, pretty basic mathematical equations. Um, next, I'm gonna ask you, or remember I told you what um, those three objects were earlier, can you tell me what those three objects are? Paper, chair, glasses. Okay, good, that shows me that you are able to recall recent memories. All right, now I'm gonna ask you, what is this? A watch. Okay, and what about this? A pen. Okay, good job. Um, can you repeat the phrase to me, no ifs, ands, or buts? No if, ands, or buts. Okay, so that's testing your language, and I can tell that you have um, a moderate tone in your voice, not too loud, not too soft. Um, you speak at a well pace. You're not, you know, super slow or not too quick, which is what we like to see. Um, I'm going to have you take this piece of paper and I'm going to have you draw a circle with a square in it. All right, good job. So by doing that, you're showing me that you're able to carry out simple commands and you're able to use your motor skills um, to draw specific objects. Um, now I'm going to have you read what i've written out here close your eyes okay so that shows me you're able to comprehend 
um, and be coherent of what I have written. And again, your tone of voice is normal, well spoken, at a well pace. All right, now I'm going to have you write a sentence for me. Okay. Any sentence you want. All right. Can you read what you've written there? The dog goes to the park. All right, good job. So your sentence, as we can see, has both a subject and a verb. Um, so that shows me you're able to comprehend my command and um, write out a complete sentence using your motor skills. All right, next, next thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you draw intersecting squares. So two squares, they just have to overlap. All right, good job. Again, this shows me that you're able to uh, follow out simple commands. All right, last thing I'm gonna test is your judgment. So I'm gonna tell you a scenario and I'm gonna see how you would act to react to the scenario. Uh, what would you do if there was a fire in this building? Find the nearest exit. Okay, good job. That shows me you have appropriate judgment for the given uh, scenario. Um, shows me your judgment's appropriate. Um, you have no perceptual distortions or anything like that. All right, Desmond, well, that finishes up our mini mental exam. Do you have any questions for me? Nope. All right. Well, it was nice seeing you again. Yep, you too. Take care. Yeah, thank you.